How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, and in today's video we're going to be talking about some new cooler information that is soon to be released in the latest issue of V-Jump. Uh, we did get it early of course, you know, because of leaks, uh, so I thought I'd just go ahead and cover it now with a little bit of Cooler's trailer running in the background, uh, because there's really no reason to wait for V-Jump if it's not going to reveal anything too crazy. And I know I just said that nothing too crazy got revealed, but they did announce a release window, and uh, I'm surprised we got a release window this early. So Cooler is going to be released in late September for around $5, just like all the other DLC characters. Uh, but what's not listed here is, is Android 17 going to come with him? I would assume so. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the safe bet to make right now. So while it is a safe assumption to assume that Android 17 will get revealed sometime between now and late September, uh, I do want to point out that nothing is confirmed as of yet. Every other piece of information we got from the character has to deal with his special moves, so let's go ahead and get right into those. First off, we have Deathfall a nosedive assault that resembles Frieza's Nova Strike in performance. This is of course referring to the move where Cooler, you know, looks like he's going to power up and then he forms a ball, dives down. Obviously, like it said here, very, very much resembles Frieza's move. It's almost a one-for-one -one copy. Now, whether or not it's going to be one-for-one -one in its properties, we don't know as of yet, uh, but I would assume it's just a straight rip. We also don't know if it's going to be a level one or a level three. That is actually not listed here, which, while not too surprising, it would have been something good to know. And of course, up next we have Death Crusher, a rush attack that swings the opponent into the wall or the ground when it hits. Now this is interesting because I think it means uh, when you're not in the corner, it'll just put you in the ground right away. Uh, but when you are in the corner, it, hit, uh, it does hit the wall and then he puts you in the ground anyway. I don't think the or here actually means that there's a choice between hitting them on the wall or ground. I think it's just a matter of where you are on the screen. And then of course for Cooler's level 3, we have the Atomic Supernova. Uh, a series of consecutive attacks followed by a huge spirit ball. On the ground it is treated as a striking technique and while in the air it is treated as a throwing technique. Now that last line is actually the one that has me the most interested uh, because the first line, you know, that's there's not too much difference between Cooler's level 3 on the ground versus Bardock's level 3 on the ground. I think Cooler does switch sides with his opponent, which Bardock doesn't do, uh, but that might end up hurting Cooler more than helping him. But the fact that it's treated as a throwing technique in the air is going to make it a little harder uh, to do any traditional combos. As you know, with Bardock, you can just do a standard combo and then maybe into a javelin and then into a level 3 in the air, and you get the same knockdown as on the ground. Of course, in order for Cooler to do that, it is probably going to take some different setups, and I'm more interested in how the throwing technique is going to work on with and recovery. I'm more interested in if any setups or mix-ups are possible with it. Or if the move changes properties at all in the air, like, is it going to be blockable in the air? All, all that stuff really interests me. But that's pretty much all we got in this V-Jump for Dragon Ball Fighters. Obviously, we didn't get anything too big, but I am really glad they just decided to reveal Cooler as a special little treat at Evo, uh, because it did make it more exciting. The last thing I do want to talk about in this video, though, has to do with Season 2. As we know, Cooler and whoever comes with him, most likely going to be Android 17, uh, are the last two characters in the Season Pass for Dragon Ball Fighters. So we are really getting to the point where they're going to have to announce their future plans for this game, whether it be, you know, Season 2 or Dragon Ball Fighters 2. Uh, we're getting to that point where they're going to have to do something. Obviously, I just think it'd be good business to announce uh, something like that uh, either as soon as the DLC drops or maybe even a little bit before it, uh, just so you don't leave people thinking, is there going to be more? Uh, you just want to answer those questions as soon as possible. The only reason I bring that up is because one, as a person, I'm super interested in that myself, and two, I just wager that we're probably going to be seeing something on the future of Dragon Ball Fighters in what I think is going to be a short time, so so I would definitely try to stay tuned with the Dragon Ball Fighters community and see if anything's announced, if that's something you want to look out for. With that being said, that's pretty much all I have to talk about on Cooler today. Don't want to keep you guys for too long. Obviously, I'm super excited for this character, like I know a lot of you guys are. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this new information for Cooler down in the comments below. While you're down there, if you like these videos and want to see more videos like this one, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Dato Doya. I'll see you in the next video.